دي الكتلة المبنية داخل الجزيرة انتوا متخيلين حضراتكم حجم النمو العمراني اللي بيحصل تقريبا 25 فدان في السنة بيتم انتهاكهم والبناء عليهم بشكل غير منظم طبعا لا يوجد تراخيص مباني لان هذه الاراضي داخل محمية طبيعية ما كانتش مرخص بيها في الانشاء بالاضافة بقى للمشكلة الاكبر وهو تدهور البيئة الطبيعية لمجرى النهر انتوا متخيلين 400 فدان من المباني دون وجود صرف صحي دون وجود اي شيء ده احواض ترسيب بتتعمل في الحفر في الارض بتنتهي بيها المقال الى نهر النيل فكان هناك مشكلة كبيرة وتدهور بيئي ضخم بيتم داخل القاهرة داخل العاصمة فكانت الدولة لازم تخش وفي اطار خطتها لتطوير المناطق ذات الخطورة الداهمة وتحاول تصلح هذا الأمر طيب مساحة الجزيرة 1295 فدان وده بيشمل اراضي بيتم النحر فيها والترسيب that uh, are ex exposed to the uh, observation the number of lands is over of houses is over 9000 houses the space when we started to deal with the issue we followed the policy of satisfying a purchase that's pursued by the state in all the areas of urban development if the lands are owned by people or by citizens. The satisfying purchase for agricultural lands, if any of you, dear attorneys, know the price of the hacker in the different government rights in Egypt, in Wara Island, we pay for the one agricultural hacker, six million Egyptian pounds. We buy satisfy, in a satisfying manner with six million Egyptian pounds. What has been bought so far is 880 hackers. 880.6 hackers with a percentage of 1%, 71%, with a cost of 5 billion Egyptian pounds that were directly paid to the owners of these lands. What about the activities? Those people were farmers. In return, there were other solutions for who want agriculture lands. They can choose of two things. Do you want, instead of your hacker, an agricultural land? We as a ministry and the authority we have in the Sadat city, we have an agriculture scope in this city. The acre in the island is equal 90 acre, 19 acres in Sadat city. 355,000 is the value of one acre. Do you want to be compensated with agricultural lands? They will be in Sadat city. Some people chose these lands. This is how we dealt with the lands. As for the buildings and how we dealt with them, once again, I want to stress that these buildings were built without any license. Like any other area in which we conducted uh, development and modernization like Maspiro, Magarayun, or the Sayyida, we started to compensate the owners, whether they are owners of lands or, or units. There are three types of compensation. The owner of a unit, if he or he just or the who possess a unit who is a lessee or so on. As for the owner or the landlord, they are paid and compensated. So anyone who possess any unit is compensated and this is calculated according to the evaluation entities in the four committees and the authority of spaces. In addition to a social compensation for each unit, you compensate a resident 
you give also him a compensation for the for the unit itself and another social uh, compensation because they move and so on does this compensation is this compensation not enough for anything actually no we we introduced a, a, a collection of a, a residence unit in October and Uhur and Matar and Baba some of the people who are worthy of the compensation moved. About 70 or 75 persons moved to Al Abur city. 26 persons moved to Hadai October, and about 77 moved to Matar and Baba. There are also alternative units that we give to all the residents. What about those who do not want to leave the place? There was also an alternative that we made available in all our uh, development projects. Maspiru, people of Maspiru will return. At the end, at the end of this month, all you can see is the alternative residence units in which people will return to, like in Tal'ai, Brodit Sayyida, and so on. In order to start the reallocation project in al Island, actually we do not have lands there and the, the agricultural land that we are getting we cannot build on them without any planning which requires studying and time because some people are putting uh, are clothing um, footprints of uh, previous projects and they say this is what's going to be done actually when we start to when we started the rebuilding in Mare, we, start, we chose about 61 acres in an area after a resolution of position removal was issued and we started to build alternative residence, residence uh, of 4,000 residence units. What we build in these 61 acres, and actually 45 acres of them were bought from people. We bought actually in areas where there are already units, so people can return to their own places. So 45 acres out of 61 acres, in reality, were bought in a satisfying manner. This area contains 250 buildings, to one, 125 uh, of them were built in a satisfying manner, and building is in progress. What is being built now is the alternative residence for those who do not want to leave the island. However, the building is in progress because it it consumes time to negotiate and so on. Actually, the removal of position our ownership takes time. All the lands that were bought in a satisfying manner, and the, the buildings too, we haven't worked on them yet. We actually talk to people and deal with them. And as I mentioned, it was in the prices that I have mentioned. There are also two other uh, ownership removal decisions in the island for uh, state purposes. Uh, one of them for the organization of the law of the Nile. The line of organizing Nile is 30 meters for the Ministry of Irrigation. When it was made in Wara, there was a large group of, uh, of buildings that were inside this line. These buildings are almost inside the Nile. These lands are not owned by the citizens, actually. Here, the state compensates the citizens for these buildings. Each room is compensated. Even the reception is compensated. In addition to the social compensation that the citizen receives, despite he is not an owner of the land, he is just compensated. 
But we do not compensate the ownership in this case because this is owned by the Ministry of uh, Irrigation. So the 30 meters of non-organizations Another decision regarding the ownership removal is related to the sec securing the Tahya Masr Raj or Axe. A specific resolution was issued for this um, uh, bridge because we have uh, came through uh, we've come through accidents in uh, Said Aisha Bridge, so we do not want to repeat these uh, problems. And this ax is a, is major. And it has a specialist uh, structure and system that shouldn't be in danger at all. That's why we dealt with this uh, space of 91 acres. 67 acres of them are already built in a satisfying manner. They include 550 houses, 30, 330 of them were dealt in with them in a satisfying manner. They are the citizen is compensated for his residence, the ownership of the land, in addition to the social compensation, besides the compensation for the agricultural lands, whether um, in cash, which equals 6 million Egyptian pounds for the acre, or the other agricultural lands that are available in our authority. But all the things related to the forced eviction and so on, this never happened in any of, the, of our projects. I think the experience we have been through proved that this manner is not followed at all. It is a process of planning the amount of the compensations paid so far in Maria Island is about 6 billion Egyptian pounds for the citizens. This amount of money includes 5 billion Egyptian pounds for compensations. The cost of the alternative residence that you see is 2 billion Egyptian pounds. In order to finalize the urgent 4,000 uh, residence units, People in Maspiro, actually we signed uh, for with them uh, some contracts. With the value of the compensation, they also have had contracts that prove that, and they have they received a rent for three years. And after the three years are finalized, people will return to their places. People now are ready to submit their documents for, um, for their units. We are kind of late, uh, two or three months late, but it's, let's take into consideration that people are aware. They are not sad or angry about this because they visited the places and they are seeing that their promises are being met. So people are understanding. As I said in the beginning, some people try to fire things up in our island. But this, but this does not take us away from our track. We are paying the two, Egypt, two billion Egyptian pounds for these uh, buildings. Some of the lands are bought to create a path that enables us to enter the area in order to build. This land are only for for the passes uh, needed for the equipment and the tools needed for the buildings. We stress that the state's methodology uh, dealing with the endangered areas is unified. Actually, this experience succeeded only when it was a win-win situation for everybody. The state maintains the environment and the, the dangers that may face the, the citizens and providing safe environment for, for the citizens and uh, with better lives for their uh, children. And if you have any questions, we're here.
الوزير بنبارك لحضرتك تجديد الثقة المستحقة. Excellency Master, congratulations for renewing the trust. In brief, when the first phase of the the new capital and new alamein and new mansoura will be inaugurated. Allow me to concentrate our questions on the topic of discussion today. However, I will answer you too. The first phase of the new Mansoura city is ready. It will be inaugurated um, in, in the period from the end of August till the mid of September. And the first phase of Al Alamein city will, will be also ready during summer. Since June, the um, the experimental uh, operation of the uh, of the governmental buildings in the new capital is ready or, or started. Actually, we visit the, these buildings once a week or once a month. The first phase of um, of the new capital is. 40,000 acres. Actually, this is a city. The first phase is equal 4.3 times Sheikh Zayed city. We will keep working. But the date is set according to or after setting the, the, the suitable environment to move. When we move the government and the employees to this place, the, the movement should be smooth. After providing all the means of life and, and staying, all the employees who will move to Eastern Cairo were told this week with the number of, uh, of, the, uh, of the unit and the residents of the people who move to the new capital. Everything is going very smooth and during this year the first phases will start. The first unit of the, uh, the first phase of Al Mansoura city is uh, more than 16,000 uh, residence units. Uh, I'd like to also congratulate you for renewing the trust. Um, the budget you mentioned is uh, 6 billion Egyptian uh, pounds. This is a large number. From which budget? Uh, the, the budget of the Ministry of Housing or which Ministry? The uh, final is there a, a visualization for a certain deadline for the final image of this uh, very important and vital island? Let me tell you uh, regarding the um, development of endangered areas. This phase, the 250,000 units. That were finalized and are, uh, the authority of the new urban uh, societies, which is an economic authority that does not uh, receive from the uh, budget of the state. From uh, it is an economic authority. It's meant with the spending on these process of development, uh, like uh, the Al Alamein city and Mansoura city, and through the plan of the development and investment drew by this uh, man, uh, by, by the ministry. In, the in 2014, the, the authority had a budget of uh, a limited budget of 30 billion Egyptian pounds, but this year the budget of the new of the authority is 144 uh, billion Egyptian pounds. After it was 13 billion only in 2014, the policy changed, the vision changed, and I want to clarify some, a certain point. Why the sleep? Where did we get the money? How could the authority achieve this shift? Under the political vision, the president directed that the um, that the authority should keep the money uh, and develop a new path to launch. First, the support for the uh, for certain categories. No country in the world provide free units 
to the people. This was only in the vision of the president to eliminate the endangered areas. And we actually have finished this file. The other point, followed by the authority of the uh, new urban societies or communities, is support. The middle class, uh, we paid attention to the middle class actually, but uh, uh, the authority was also was only meant with the popular or economic uh, residents. But in the new vision, you can see projects like uh, Dar Masr. It supports the middle class and the upper middle class by providing residence units that are, that are affordable. Through certain initiatives like the uh, real estate support, so a large segment of the people are supported with a small um, profit margin, but this margin with the, with the amount of the demand actually achieves profits. The other point is availability. The state in the previous uh, times never worked on the luxurious uh, residence. Like the one we see in Alamein City, towers and so on, and then the projects of villas and townhouses and so on. The advantage of the availability is that the state serves all the citizens, low-income low citizens, and also middle-income citizens and the rich people also have rights that, and the state should serve all of them. So instead of uh, buying uh, units in other countries, so let me make this available in my market to, to the citizen in my country. In this case, I make availability and give them their rights because they have rights actually. These three policies that were adopted according to the program of the president that uh, came in simultaneously with the beginning of our work. It was the solution for this shift. I support the needed segment and make some things available for the middle class and, give a, and make other things available for the rich people. And the profits that I get from the people who who I dealt with them from the second and the third segments, I, suppo I support the people in the first segment with them. People took some footprints and designs that were made. Actually, like 15 years ago, they said, and started to say in Horace and so on, all of this is not real. What can we do with the island? As you all know, we cannot have a project without an economic feasibility. I do not know when. If I started a project with a feasibility study, and this study changed after six uh, months, but let us confirm that Alwara Island will be the long inside Cairo. We want to maintain this long, but we also do not want to expose this area to be violated once again. Because if the state in the development process can maintain this, despite all the turmoils and claims, we want to maintain the principles that, uh, that we are working inside the Nile in a sensitive area. We want to maintain along inside Cairo that um, maybe Cairo is deprived from in many other places. And also the Nile views like we developed uh, uh, the walk of Ahl Masr. The island of Iraq will also be the same. But when I have availability, the, the footprint 
or the plan will be set according to the suitable economic or feasibility study. It's clear within the light of talking about this project, we are talking about a high value project for the people and, uh, and the ownerships and the, the amount of the compensations. But the problem is that uh, some families won't refuse to leave their houses and you provided a solution which is alternative residence. So what is the, the way that the country can help them uh, to be uh, reassured? Is it the contracts or you will uh, tell them about the plans? Because it's not the problem is not with the people who agreed to leave. The problem is with people who refuse to leave. How can the country reassure them? The other thing, their kind of social dialogue that you can resort to in the coming periods and the of the people in charge can talk to the people instead of the scenarios we are which we are listening to let me answer you however we think about developing the island we no one can believe in any place in egypt can have a project for only one segment or category. No urban society can work if it is built on the classes. This all the categories have to be represented. What you see in the Maspiro is alternative residence, not investment uh, uh, residence. But it's done in a way that raises the efficiency of the area. When you saw the fishermen uh, residence uh, in Dumyat, uh, in Rasul Bar, and in Sayyida, all of the... Uh, and in Magar Ayun, the people who used to live in Magar Ayun, who, who owned 1,007 residence unit, actually they are in uh, Badr city. Why Badr city? Because it is next to the Arabiki where the, uh, the industry of leather moved to there. The methods of negotiation in dealing with the uh, slums and the endangered areas are the same. But in many other uh, areas, we gained trust. When we started to develop the Arab area, we received such resistance. Because people never believed that, that they will come back. But after these buildings started to appear, people told them, we told you, you will not come back to these good buildings. But now we are developing Sayyida 2. So the surrounding areas, people from the surrounding areas that were not in the Egypt, they asked for development because they are tr trusting that the state is not ready to have the lands. We want to make a, a paradigm shift in the lives of the, uh, of the citizens. That's why, that's why we are creating the Urdu Sayyida 2 project. We offer this, people move to uh, Al Ubur and Hada October and the residents in Matar and Baba. But some people are trying to fire the people's sentiments up. In Maspiro, three years ago, we gave the people or the, f or the one family, 1,000 Egyptian pounds to rent uh, a place. Those people used to live in inappropriate places. We also gave them another sum in order to move to another uh, place. We gave them 36,000 Egyptian pounds for the rent for three years and 6,000 six, six, pounds for, uh, the, for moving all their um, furniture. 
August 31, we will announce when should the people submit their documents to receive the units. Their problem is that. And they're right, definitely, because they have been through many uh, periods of mistrust. The compensations differ. The citizen has a right to have um, uh, visualizations that I will move from one unit to another, despite of the cost of the two units. If we have such financial capabilities as a state, we will never save an effort, but actually we develop the units with number that is larger than the number of the current families in Wara. They will be made available for these people. I will not benefit anything if I uh, rented them for any other person. As uh, the president of the authority, six years ago, I visited this island with, with the uh, Marshal Kamel Wazir. We met all the people and we explained the, uh, the development plan. We discussed with them in a clearly some people never believed us. Many people also believed. If they haven't believed what we said and dealt with us, we wouldn't have 880 acres that were bought in a satisfying manner. The sum allocated for the one acre is large. Six million acre is large because this is not the real value for an agricultural land. When the state paid these sums to the citizen, why is that? Actually, this is because the dangers are also very expensive in order to start an accident, whether in Tessa and the different areas. The amount of the costs we pay for the compensations and removals in order to establish these acts. Why do the state create these acts in order to facilitate the lives of the citizens? If this act is built in a new city, it will cost at least in such areas four or five times the, uh, the cost of establishment in the current areas if the, the areas Areas like our island where lands are violated, if we wait more, we will have more losses. So that's why we pay the compensations and people believe, believe us. We have a branch of Al Ahli Bank and the other bank of Al Wara Island. Why is it? Will you give them, people used to say, uh, do you want the people to sign, to sign the paper, the contracts and you just give them a check that, that is empty at the end? But actually we, give, we, we deliver the money in cash. Some citizens receive the money and take a photo with them. Then they put, put them in the bank. Uh, after the, the bank that we established in the other bank so they, it can facilitate the process. Just to make sure that the country will give them the money. The project, like any other projects, even the compensation for the lands is good and regular. We never uh, work with other sums, actually. If we ask anyone, are these uh, compensations uh, are, are enough, they will say no. But this is normal because with time, things become more expensive. But this depends on the capability of the state. If we have the people who moved to Hala October or Bur and Matar Baba, they received the, the, their units with the furniture. The furniture was not calculated within the value. These units, the price of these units was actually the price of the cost when they were established. This compensated unit 
was of 250 Egyptian, thousand Egyptian pounds. But the current residence is actually more expensive now. They received the unit with the furniture because the president insists on this. I want to ask you that you at the beginning mentioned the evil powers. The evil powers focus on the state and neglects the uh, violations made by the citizens. So I want to ask you about the amount of the violations in the island against the agricultural lands. If the citizen decided to, to return to his, his unit, how this will provide him a, a good uh, life within the development in the island? It will be a different life, as you presented before. It will be a different life away from the dangers and so on. These are the units that were built and they are fully ready. If we resorted to the law, then al Island tell the decision of the uh, cabinet is a natural reservation so building is not licensed there so all the buildings there are against the law those who built on the Nile line is also against the law. When we deal with these areas, we neglect this. Because why is that? Because we are solving another problem, which is endangered areas. Because we establish a, a, a society that grows a lot without any. Without any facilities, what made it more dangerous is that it is in the middle of the Nile from which we get the water we drink. That w that's why we neglected these things. Even those who built in, uh, in, the, in the Nile line, they receive compensation and social compensation, but I cannot uh, do equ uh, deal equally with those who have uh, who built in this way. And the other people who built on their own lands. This takes time to explain the difference in the values. I cannot deal with two ways. I cannot compensate a person who built on a land that does not belong to him and make him equal to the person who built in his own land. When you asked me who spends on this uh, process, and I told you the authority, why the, why the island was, was mandated by the authority? Because we do not have lands? No, of course. But be, this is because we have the financial capability to achieve the development according to the set version. That we are working with the with Cairo government right inside Cairo. In Maspiru, the authority is not an owner, but we work on the behalf of the government rate in the development process, we pay the money, we do all the things. The same applies for Magarayun area, but because I'm the entity that is socially responsible for this, when the president set the development plan, and the new republic, <coughs> the new republic is not the, only the new urban communities, but the, but the new republic depends on improving all the areas. So the authority has to play a social role in developing the areas inside the existing uh, urban areas. The profits are for the state and the citizens in improving the urban environment. Thank you. I hope everything is clear now.